Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I will be painting these mini clogs. Yes, these mini clogs. My brother ended up finding them at the thrift store and a few other bigger clogs that were painted on, but these ones weren't, so I ended up taking them and I thought I would do a painting on them. These clogs were made in May of 1994. The wood on them was a bit dry, but they were still workable. The first thing I did was cover them with gesso to have a good base to work with, and then I sketched my design. Originally, I wasn't planning on painting the inside of the clogs, but then decided I would. So instead of just sewing the inside of the clogs, I ended up leaving it that wood color and then painting the inside of them. I didn't want to have the same design as every other clog, which is always flowers or a windmill. I wanted something different, so I decided to paint mushrooms on them instead, kind of leaving the same look to the clogs, but at the same time changing it up a bit. After sketching, I started my painting. I wanted to keep things darker because usually clogs are brightly painted, but I wanted mine to be more muted colors, so I chose a muted red, muted blue, muted green green and even a muted mushroom color. The only bright thing about this was the white dots I added to the mushrooms in the end because I wanted that to pop a lot to show that these are, aren't just normal mushrooms, they are poisonous ones. I picked a darker red, almost a red mixed with purple for the inside of the clogs where the mushrooms were. I added a blue background with green grass that the mushrooms sat on and the rest of the shoes were the same color as the base of the mushrooms.
I used two different mushroom colors. One was darker and the other one was light so I can get a shadow effect using that technique. I painted the tip of the shoes and the back of the shoes the dark mushroom color and blended the lighter mushroom color into the middle. I thought it would be something different to the clogs instead of keeping a solid color which the reds of the mushrooms I used black for the shadow areas and just a darker red for the brighter areas. I even decided to paint a small mushroom on the outer side of the shoes just to add something extra to it since those small mushrooms were closer to the darker side of the base that I painted a dark mushroom color. I just used the lighter mushroom color for the whole base. And to keep the red going, I also decided to paint the bottom of the clogs a red color as well so it looked like it had red bottoms. Most clogs have that so I, I did want to keep that original look to it, especially with the red.
I even used a micron pen to outline some details with instead of wasting my time and trying to use black paint and I added the original dates of when the clogs were made on one shoe and the date of when they were painted on the other shoe. Of course the mushrooms on each shoe are different but I actually like it that way but there you have a cute tiny pair of clogs painted. I will be bringing these back to my brother's shop for a display. If you guys didn't know I work in a cobbler shop I do the patch and stitch work there. I also have a YouTube channel where I fix things. I've made a belt out of eel skin, also added a jiu-jitsu gi into a leather jacket, and I have many more crazy projects coming soon. This is just the start of it, but if you are interested in watching any of those videos, I always have a link in the descriptions down below. I've also been updating my Redbubble page, and I am starting to add more work to it. Well, at the moment, not yet, but I will be soon. I have been editing my old artwork on Redbubble so that every Everything looks good on t-shirts, tote bags, and mugs, and many more. I feel like before I would just upload my art on there and I called it good and I wouldn't really edit the pictures there. But now I am starting to and as some of you know I do have an Etsy shop where I sell buttons and it's all art that I did. I have also added a listing where you can send me your own art and get it on a button. I can do a small batch as well as a bulk of it if any of you guys are interested. I decided to make a custom some listing because I know not a lot of people have a button press and it can be pretty expensive so if you're looking to get any custom button pins just click on the Etsy link down below and it will take you to my Etsy page on there. You will see a custom listing just click on that and we can get started on any custom orders. I do have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. All of that is linked down below. I know there is a lot of promotion on my social media going on at the moment but this does really help me. Thank you to everyone for all of the support. I really do appreciate it. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, evening, or night whenever you are watching this, and I will see you in my next video.